Today on the channel, we unbox Moroff and Scarif Stormtrooper. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, back again with another daily Star Wars unboxing. I've overasserted myself, but I've promised and I never back down from a challenge. I'm doing a bonus Star Wars unboxing every single day in 2021, and it continues right here today. And we're going to do some uncharted territory, some figures I've never opened up. I've never opened up Star Wars figures from this line before. This is a dab in my toes in. I believe these are fairly inexpensive. Fairly recent. These are Rogue One figures from a you know a couple years back, the Rogue One movie. Uh, but I had to pick this one up. This Moroff guy. I didn't know his name in the in the Rogue One movie, but when I saw him, he stole my heart, as a lot of those hairy creatures do. Be it a Yeti, a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, a Wendigo, a, a Wookie, for that matter, or maybe even a Wampa. You guys know me. I'm all in on one of those, and I had to pick him up because of that. Uh, I'm not really familiar with these figures at all, so it's going to be uncharted waters, like I said. Hopefully they scale and I can blend them in with some of my other Star Wars figures as I continue to unbox these. And I work for my collection tour of 2022 where I build my whole new Star Wars room. So that's a little bit of the housekeeping. But for all your Star Wars needs, right now at least, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So okay, let's look at the packaging on this one. Then we'll open it up and see what we think. I mean, truly uncharted territory for me here. Star Wars Rogue One, you got a little scene up there at the top. You got a little two-pack action. There's the window. You see them both in there. You got glamour shots to the side, a whole lot of warnings, a little Hasbro down there. Nothing real fun on the side there. A little bit of a wrap around on that side. The bottom, like most toys, we got legal fun down there we don't really care about. And then we get to the back of the package. If you can kind of see that. I don't know. It's awfully white, but there it is. A lot of writing down here. There's a lot to unpack on the back here. Download the Hasbro Star Wars Studio FX app to make videos with your toys. Have any of you guys done that? Do you have kids that did that? I'm not going to be doing that, but uh, there's a code inside for that. There's tons of warnings on the back here. All kinds of warnings. Six and up, they're hoping you'll be uh, to get these. Let's see what it says. More off. And who knows if I'm pronouncing that right. Is it more off, more off? I'm going to call it more off. More off seeks out combo combat zones to sell his brawn and firepower to anyone that might need it. The mighty Gigorin mercenary figures there's money to be made for a towering heavy gunner, and he's right. That makes a whole lot of sense. He's like the roadblock of the Star Wars universe. He gets out that heavy gun, just goes to town. Uh, let's see, so Scarif Stormtrooper, squad leader. Specialist Stormtrooper stationed at the top secret Imperial military headquarters on Scarif. Shore, shore Troopers patrol the beaches and bunkers of the planetary facility. And I want to say we got one of these in the Black Series, or maybe it's coming soon. I don't have it, but I feel like we might have got that back in the day. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain. More off, I don't think. Has he gotten any other figures? I would kill for a 6-inch Black Series figure of him. I think that's screaming to be made. Hopefully we get that one day. I do know they're going to re-release. Very similar to the Rebels line. We got the Rebels kind of re-released with some extras. Uh, they're going to re-release the Rogue One line. So we'll see. I know uh, some of my local stores, Jin Urso, is still haunting those stores. Uh, so I don't know how well that'll go. But let's open these guys up. Let's see what's going on. Cool background. Little red brick. Kind of a... At least it's not just plain red. There's a little scene to it, which is kind of cool. See you later up high. And there is a lot of pieces to unpack with this one. Let's look at the old plastic prison. There he is. The stormtrooper and the morath. All right, let's, let's unbox them here. Let's get them out. I probably shouldn't have thrown these instructions. they uh probably going to need to put this guy together somehow. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. If I can't figure it out, hey, I, I don't know if I'll put him with all this heavy, heavy gunnery stuff on anyways. But we'll see. We'll see how it uh, breaks down here. Oh, get too firing red. I mean, this is basically a kid's toy. I mean, this isn't the vintage collection. This isn't the Black Series. See you later. To the side. There it is. Got a couple clips to the side. There it is. All right, I'm going to look at my boy first. Not bad. Definitely not bad. No stickiness to it, so that's always good. Uh, I guess it's not that old to have stickiness. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's a traditional three and three force. This blends in with your power of the force, your vintage collection. A lot of this stuff blends in. Uh, so that looks all right. And this shore trooper, he's all right too. No real articulation to him. Very power of the force ass. There's no knees. There's no elbows. None of that fun stuff. Unfortunately, he does got his gun, traditional stormtrooper gun. But he'll blend in. You can put him with some other stuff. Uh, I don't have a huge Rogue One collection. I guess like, maybe I have to work on that or hopefully he'll blend in. But he's definitely not the selling point of this pack. I, I'm sure a lot of people maybe for army building, if they're looking for that, he would be. But not for me. I'm all in on this big guy. But I'm not sure exactly how he goes together. So this uh, might be trouble. Could be trouble. I don't have a clue. Don't have a clue how this goes on. I know this goes over his shoulders like so. That makes sense. Let's let's figure it out here. How you got to be smarter? Oh, there it is. Maybe, maybe. All right. I don't know. I might have to look at the instructions. I hate to do it, but especially on a toy, it has fits in. It's just there. There we go. Got it on. Well, no, it keeps falling off on me. I don't know. You got to be smarter than a six-year-old for these. Um, yeah, he's not fitting on. So I don't know. Come on. What are we doing here? There it goes. There it is, finally. I mean, it only took me an hour, but I got it on. It goes on like so. Uh-oh. Now we get a little serious here. Obviously, the weapons go in like that. There it is. I'm getting there. Figure some of this stuff out. Maybe. There it is. All right, I got it figured out, guys. So I'm day one here, but we're getting there. Pops in on the side. Pops in on the other side. And there you have it. He is ready for some heavy, heavy gunnery there. I don't think I'll display him with this. I think I'll just give him this. This is probably for the Stormtrooper. Maybe I'll give him this instead. It's just a little too... I don't know. We'll see. I got to think about it. Not terrible, not the best, but I do love, you know, hairy creatures. Uh, he's got to be somewhat related to a distant cousin to the Wampa. I mean, he has to be at this point, doesn't he? Um, definitely the selling tool for me in this is him uh, more often. I don't know if there's any more history in the Star Wars universe of him. That's kind of the only time I think I ever remember seeing him was in Rogue One. I don't know if he's been in anything since. At least I, I should be able to remember that, but I don't. But I like it for what it is. Is it a high dollar figure? No, this is a very cheap set like most of these things are. Great for army builders on this one, but this is the selling point for me, like I said. So you guys tell me in the comments, did you ever pick these up? Have you picked up some of these? I've seen they have an Admiral Akbar from, I believe, The Force Awakens. You know I got to get that figure. Uh, I've, I've seen it for about 14 bucks. I'm more of a buyer at $10. I got I to gotta find that Akbar though. You guys know me and the Calamari. We're, we're pretty tight. I'm an honorary member of the Calamari crew at this point. So I got to pick him up, and I think there's a Neon Numb as well. I definitely got to get those two. Those are my boys. I got to represent and support my boys. But there it is. You guys let me know on your thoughts on these Force Link uh, Rogue One figures. Did you pick them up? Have you passed on them? Or are they a waste of time? You guys let me know. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new Star Wars videos every single day. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at SirPaul64. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And for uh, my Rogue One friends, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.